A very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you very much for tuning on to the Life of Signatures Radio. It's another episode today that we're continuing to do. This podcast is daily, a daily show on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience, a teaching podcast, a virtual incubator for those three subjects. With this podcast, we get to learn things to do with the direction we're taking in life. We get to learn things to do with how we can rise up when we fall and when we come across challenges. We get to know how we can continue performing in life, probably in the direction that we were born to perform. That's what we talk about in these episodes. We, in the middle of a series, we're discussing about reputation and been looking at the seven ways in which to recover a ruined reputation. We've done already two ways in which you can do that, and uh, we are still going strong. As far as that is concerned, today I want us to add some more things as far as re booting our ruined relationships as far as that is concerned so stay tuned welcome to the life signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale Lawrence is a life coach author and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Let us do a small recap here. As far as this is concerned, how do you recover a ruined reputation? The first thing we mentioned in the episodes that have gone is that you've got to acknowledge your mess. If you've messed somewhere, I'm telling you, this is the beginning. This is the basic. You do wrong when you keep, you know, uh, saying you did not mess. If you wanted to to recover your already ruined reputation... You've just got to acknowledge that I am the one who did that. I messed it. It was wrong. Okay? That gives you a leeway. It gives you an, a benefit of the doubt in the eyes of the people whom have always regarded you and in their eyes you've now lost a reputation. It gives you a benefit of the doubt with them. Now that they know you are contrite, you're sorry, you acknowledge, right? And they now know that, you know, you are on the way to amend. But if you don't do this, just forget it. Forget it. With those people, that relationship, I mean, that uh, reputation is already gone. It's already lost. Secondly, we've been talking about this and we closed yesterday. We talked about going back to ground zero. What does going back to ground zero mean? It means go back to where things began and also where things got deviated from that's the ground zero if you wanted to find out how your relationship was i mean how your reputation was you've got to go back to where things started going south and remember the things that you used to do we talked about uh, what were you known for do you know what you were known for initially sometimes we take what we were known for for granted and we deviate from it or we use it and then we forget what it is that we did initially Uh, secondly we talked about what did you deviate from where did you start going on a tangent in fact where did you start doing things without your heart in it without your heart being invested in it we talked about what promises did you fail to fulfill we talked about uh, when did you stop informing people that this is who you are or this is what has changed we talked about what do you know what do you want to be known to stand for 
and those are the things that are under going back to the drawing board so as you can see the first thing that you've got to do is to acknowledge acknowledge where you have gone wrong and secondly you've got to go back to ground zero but the third thing that i would advise you to do if you are building up your reputation back again the third thing i'm going to advise you to do is to build it right up you see you cannot cry over spilt milk why because all the cows are not yet dead and even if those cows are dead we still have camels and we still have goats and my point is simple once your reputation is soiled the only way is right back up i mean you cannot cry over spilt milk the only way is to build it up and i have this feeling that just like a broken bone is being healed and becomes stronger than it was and you know that's a medical fact by the way so it is with a built a spoiled reputation i have a feeling that if it's handled well the recovery process of your reputation might even be a better thing might make you glad that you had a spot reputation in the first place it can even be much much better a good reputation is something that we should all look forward to however that can only be the case if you made a conscious choice to do something about your broken reputation we have already established again and again that a reputation is what more than just you know um a reputation it's much much more valuable it's worth more than gold and a good name we've known is better than riches we're told in the bible a good name is worth more than resources you can do so much with a good name with a good reputation than we, you can do with with money and i know that's controversial but you get the point on the other hand a bad reputation will limit you it will limit your reach it will curtail your advancement and close as many doors as it can that's a fact we have seen that there is no immunity to having a bad reputation we are all susceptible to this and that's why we've got to understand is this an internal job is it an external job someone malicious might destroy your reputation and this could be good for you if you were to counter it and uh, you know recover it and i remember one day a competitor decided to sell my reputation to a big multinational very funny and as i was fuming through the process someone told me to rejoice because for the first time in my history my name or my com- the company's name was being mentioned at the headquarters of that particular multinational company in south africa and i looked at it from a different angle well, it, it, the worst about a bad reputation is that you can choose to do it with your own hands kill it with your own hands soil it with your own hands when you decide to compromise your standards your promises your values you go back on your word you sow your reputation that is what is dis- is is disturbing but if you have come to your senses and you wanted to rebuild it we have said that the first thing you've got to do is to acknowledge your mess the second thing you've got to do is to go back but you've got to build it up again as in you fold your sleeves and say okay fine it is what it is it is a mess but i am going to start rebuilding this and you've got to understand let me go ahead of myself you've got to understand rebuilding is not a one day job don't be fooled that it, <laughs> you're going to rebuild a spoiled reputation in a day no haters must be allowed to incubate the failure of your reputation those ones who rejoice at your failure must be allowed to rejoice must be allowed to have their day you you don't have to fight with people you don't have to fight with these elements you need to allow this buffer zone of time so to speak to pass so that <clears throat> the draws of your sport reputation can continue you know to 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 linger out there but that should never stop you that should never stop you from building your reputation right back up again it is obvious that you've got to do it however this is where the rubber meets the road if you are going to repair your broken reputation you will be doing yourself a great disfavor if you don't if you're going to if you if you're not going to repair your broken reputation you'll be doing yourself a great disfavor 
what you ought to do is to take this opportunity and build a brand new reputation once again there's a book i uh, think uh, it's kind of like the same title with my book re- written by a man called uh, tim story that um, he, uh, setback is um, okay my book is turn your setbacks into major comebacks tim story talks about something the same same line but this interesting thing he says is that it's a, it's a, he says that um a setback as in when you go back after a setback it is not a go back necessarily it's a new thing so stop looking at rebuilding as if you are returning to who you are you probably might never return to who you are when you're building back a broken reputation you might never return to who you are if you go back to who you are it has to be plus this broken reputation and the rebuilding that you're doing which is doesn't i mean it doesn't amount to who you are you can never be who you are once your reputation has been spoiled and you want to go back there you can actually be better now stop crying over spilled milk stop whining over what has been lost stop thinking that is never going to be recovered and stop being stuck into the past reputation start building a fresh one this time around you have an advantage of the old reputation plus the failure plus the new reputation that you're building right now it is because once your reputation is blighted people will always associate, associate you with your previous reputation the one that was spoiled that's why repairing your reputation so that you can go back to it is is not good it's it's, it's initially it's it doesn't work you can never really run away from the spot or wrinkle that has come upon your reputation you can't erase it there is no magic eraser of a spot or a wrinkle on a broken reputation there isn't it doesn't exist that's why we have said the first thing you've got to do is to acknowledge it and acknowledging is critical to building a, a new reputation but any time you see someone trying to repair a sold reputation chances are that this person did not acknowledge that they were a mess in the first place there is no building up an, uh, uh, i mean there is no building a, a new brand and a great reputation if you do not acknowledge that you had hit a low if you do not acknowledge the blight the misdemeanor that is going to be there so in building a new reputation that's what i've got to be thinking about building a new reputation we need to understand some things that will go into place if we're to build a new reputation and i'm going to talk about the five things that you've got to understand in the next five episodes the five things that you've got to come to mind and you've got to focus on when we are rebuilding a reputation when we're building a new reputation the question is that we've got to understand today i know it might sound confusing are we building a new re- brand are we building a new reputation or are we rebuilding or are we repairing the one that was spoiled there will be a balance in there but i will urge you to forget about the reputation of the past it's gone it's dented it's spoiled of course it is still an asset but you cannot continue looking back at that as your reputation of the future it's already messed up it's already blighted there is no magic wand we can wave and it clears the mess of the broken reputation what we can do is to garner for an even better reputation through the mess that we've just gone through so from tomorrow I'm going to look at the things that we need to focus on as we build back this good new reputation until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.